Hello, I'm here with Song Chong Yong, who is the CTO of Panesia, and we're going to learn a little bit about what they're doing here and about their products. Can you introduce yourself, introduce your company to us, please? Uh, 저희 Panesia는 AR 글라스를 제작, 개발하는 스타트업 기업입니다. Uh, 지금 5년이 되었고요. 저희가 세 가지 모델을 AR 글라스 시장에 출시를 했습니다. All right, company that is uh, developing, manufacturing, and selling AR glasses, the devices out there. Uh, and they've got three out there in the market. We're going to ask them in just a moment what those are. But first, tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing here today and uh, tell us about your experience here and what you're hoping to get out of it. Uh, uh, there yeah, certainly a lot to learn, but also a lot, a lot to announce, a lot to show off your own products as well here. So it's a great opportunity to meet some of these companies and uh, exchange information basically about the field, about the technologies and about what you have as a company, as well as learn from other companies. So tell us about your products. You mentioned there were three products that you had produced. Tell us uh, what are your products? Uh, 저희 프로덕트는 GTM 100, 200, 300이라는 그팬 네임을 가지고 있고요. Mm -hmm. AR 글라스입니다. Mm -hmm. 테더드 형태의 AR 글라스로서 AR 콘텐츠를 구동할 수 있는 독자 기술의 mm -hmm. AR 글라스가 될 것입니다. So basically three types of AR glasses, uh, G GTM. GT. GTM. GTM 100, 200, yeah, right. 300. Mm -hmm. 그럼 100, 200, 300, 차이가 300 제일 uh, 기술. 일단, 기술도 있고 안쪽에 이제 들어가는 센서가 카메라 센서와 도프 센서라는 게 있는데 그 카메라 센서와 도프 센서는 하는 역할은 인터랙션을 위한 센서의 음. 기본입니다. 음. 근데 이제 그게 인핸스도 돼 있고 음. 또 웨어러블 글라스다 보니까 글라스는 굉장히 컴팩트하고 그 다음에 어또 심미적으로 좋아야 되는데 음. 디자인이 좋아야 되는데 그 디자인이 업그레이드가 된 거죠. Uh, so basically 300 is the upgrade version, uh, better, looks better to wear because you know we've got to uh, kind of get it to the normal glass standard, get all that technology in there, still look, make it look uh, like a very easily wearable device, but also has a lot of sensors in there as well and different technologies that makes for more interactions when it comes to it. But the three levels there, the 100, the 200 and the 300 right. are what they are selling. So if it's for anyone, then is it a B2B, is this a B2C? What is, who are your target? Uh, Oh, so B to B, a B to G and B to C right now is what they're uh, mostly selling or mo mostly working on. But in 2024, so next year, yeah. they're going to be making uh, some announcements for their B to P, B to B market expansion mm -hmm. that they're going to be working on. Right. Uh, so what can you tell me about the future plans? Is it a secret? Is it what? What can you sh share with us? <laughs> 저희가 AR 글라스를 만들면서 그 B2B, B2G 시장에 어나운스를 했을 때 어, 특별한 거는 B2G 시장에는 현재 K 방산에 많이 쓰이는 밀리터리용으로 많이 제공이 돼 있었고 하지만 B2B와 B2C 시장에서는 어, 코스트 이펙트가 굉장히 크기 때문에 그 일단은 가격적인 면, 가격을 굉장히 낮춰야 되고 또한 가지가 어, AR 글라스는 착용하는 게 실내, 실외 이두 공간을 다 만족을 시켜야 되는데 실외 공간에서는 시인성 광량 즉 태양빛이 너무 강하기 때문에 디스플레이가 좀 어렵거든요. 네. 그걸 위해서 저희 독자 기술인 홀로그램 옵틱 엘리먼트를 사용한 LBS 모듈 광학계를 준비를 하고 있습니다. 그게 저희 회사의 키 포인트가 될 것입니다. Oh, so very interesting couple of points that he mentioned right there. One, uh, of course, that their products can be used 
uh, for government, military defense, uh, national defense as well. But the two things that we'll be expecting from them is a reduction of price to make it more cost efficient. Right. Uh, but also, what I never thought of is the ability to use AR glasses indoor and outdoor. You've got different light coming in. You've got sunlight that's going to be strong. So they're going to be working to kind of bridge that gap so they can use those AR glasses uh, both indoors and outdoors. Right. Great. Thank you so much for talking with us and uh, best of luck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. There you have it. So check out their uh, page for more information. Thank you. <laughs>